Hi guys, guess what time it is? <laughs> it is time for our snack shenanigans, you guys. It is. And I have a pile, a huge pile of things to try today. And some of them are quite questionable looking. <laughs> I'm actually a little nervous. Like I'm normally not super, super nervous about tasting things because I figure, you know, but at this point in the game, people are starting to bring me things and the things that people are starting to bring me are kind of scary. <laughs> so I'm a little nervous today, a little bit nervous. Hi everybody. Hey Eve. Hey Patty. Sylvia. I saw Miss Kathy is here. There's Joan. Hi my darling. How are you? So all right. I've got some people coming on in. It is Monday and I'm not doing a jewelry project just yet. Okay. Jewelry project happens at 7 p.m. tonight on the Jesse James Beads Facebook page. Maker Monday, 7 p.m. So set your reminders for that, okay? Because if you showed up here thinking we were gonna do jewelry, we're not, <laughs> we're totally not. We're gonna eat gross things first and then we'll make some jewelry later this evening. So, oh man, um, I'm a little nervous. I am not gonna lie. If you guys could see the things that were in front of me, it's a little intimidating. And so far, everything has been okay. Like I've eaten some gross things, but this one, like I even had to look some of this up because it was just questionable looking. Like I thought maybe it was mold and it is, it's not, it's the way it's supposed to look. So I'm a little nervous. But before we get to all of the snacks, let's do business because I always have to make sure that I am covering all of my bases and really actually doing something other than just eating things, okay? So I just wanted to remind you guys that over on the Jesse James Abeads Facebook page, there is a 34 per really 34 percent off sale that is happening and that happened all through the weekend it is being extended until tomorrow morning um so you can get 30 per 34 percent off this is part of the sarah james birthday celebration and let's see the code for that is birthday 34 so if you want to take advantage of that you absolutely can there are brand new um, there are brand new weekly deals this week. I'll tell you all about those um, this evening during Maker Monday. I saw something about the Chiefs go by, so I have to scroll back. <laughs> yes, Susan says the Chiefs play tonight. Yeah, they play. Actually, they start in like an hour, I think. It's really early for a Monday, which I think is really weird. So I'm, I will be able, sorry, my foot is itching. I will be able to see, we're all friends here. <laughs> <laughs> I think an itching foot is the least of my troubles today. Um, but anyway, <laughs> I'll get to see the first half of the game, but I think I'll probably have to uh, record the rest of it. And I'm really hoping that it's better than last week, but that is a conversation for a whole nother day. Okay, so let's discuss. Let's discuss. Oh, Donna, you are so right. It is a great time for the North Pole, Destination North Pole. If you want to use that 34% off on it, you absolutely can. So yeah, that was a really good point to bring up. That's, thank you. I was not even thinking of that. Hi, Nicole, how are you? Hey, Motorcrafts, how are you doing? All right, so, oh, I wanted to show you. I have two things to show you first. Sorry, you guys. It's Monday, so I mean, but like Friday, my excuse was it's Friday today, it's Monday, my excuse, okay, you guys know. So first of all, look at this awesome ring. How cool is this? Okay, yeah, if you have not, if you're not fully convinced that I'm a weirdo, this will probably put you right over the edge, like, you know. So I got this on Etsy, and that is actually leather around the eye. So there is this artist that is a leather worker that I have been following on Etsy for years and years. And I finally broke down and bought a piece of their jewelry. I would really love to have some of their bracelets as well. And they actually do journals that are leather bound journals and they have eyeballs. I love eyeballs, okay? I know that's really weird, but I really love them. And I had a really cool eyeball ring that just broke. I bought it years ago. It just broke, so I had to replace it. So this is the one that I replaced it with. Yeah, oh, that was super cool. <laughs> and very Halloween-y. Second thing I wanted to show you is, uh, do you notice my new earrings that I have on? You guys know where these came from? <laughs> 
So you guys, Miss Julie Peterson, I know you guys, a lot of you know Miss Julie. She is an amazing, amazing artist. And I was lucky enough to convince her to sell me one of her jewelry sets. And it is these fabulous Halloween earrings and then these two necklaces. And I got, I got to show them to you guys. I got to show them. I posted a picture of them, but it's just not the same. It's just not the same. So this is one of the necklaces. I'm obsessed. Obsessed. Right? Goes with the earrings. So that's one of them. And then... Oh, you guys, I'm so in love with this and it's mine. I can't believe it. It like actually belongs to me. I was so excited when she said yes. I wasn't, I wasn't sure she was going to say yes when I asked if I could buy it from her. I really did not think she would say yes, but she did. And I'm so excited. I love it. I love it. I have been petting it and looking at it. And yeah, it's just fabulous. I absolutely love it. So you guys check out Julie Peterson. She absolutely rocks. The way she uses color, I wish that I, I could see things in color the way that she sees things. Just super, super cool. All right. Uh, anything else? Anything else? I've got lights and a new microphone coming this week, which is good news. Thank you all for using um, my affiliate links. Please continue to do so if you feel like it. You do not have to. Okay, enough business. Let's get down to the shenanigans because... Sorry, it took me a second. I was like, I was reading Donna's comment and she says, that's cool. But what isn't of Julie's? And for some reason, my brain was just like not putting those words. I know Julie is amazing. She really is amazing. Okay, so the first thing I've got here, all of these things, you guys, are, are Asian. And I say that in like a big kind of um, blanket term because... Some of this is Japanese and some of it is not. And the things that are not Japanese, they came from one of our Asian food marts here in town. And they sell Korean, Japanese, Chinese, like it, it's all, and clearly I don't read any of that. So I don't really know. <laughs> I don't know. So um, if I'm going to offend anybody, apparently I'm going to offend a whole continent today and not just a country. So this is one of the first things that I've got. And this is so weird because I, I almost looked this up and I thought, well, surely you just mix it with water, right? Okay, so <laughs> it's this little packet. It says strawberry. I do have that part, right? It's made in Japan. I got that part. Um, and it's a powder. And there's a picture of a glass. So I'm going to assume, where can we find the affiliate links without going back through Friday's video? That's a really good question. So if you do not want to go back through the affiliate links, I'm sorry to interrupt because that is a good question just in case anybody wants to know. Um, in the file section of our, and that brings me to another another good point. Um, oh man, Donna, I hope that's not a fiber drink. That would be horrible horrible now I'm really worried okay I'm sorry back to the affiliate links if you are in our Sarah Ellis designs community group which number one if you've not joined yet please join because we're having so much fun I love seeing everybody's creations if you're in the group you can click on the little header that says files and there is a post that my um, my good friend Joan put together and it has all of my affiliate links for Jesse James Speeds for Cricut and for Jewel Loom then I also added last night, <laughs> Mira, <laughs> last night I added another file that is a, it's kind of a library list. It's all of the books that I have on my shelf that are jewelry making books. And I listed all of those and they each have their own individual affiliate link with those if you want to use those. Those are all on Amazon. Um, Amazon, I'm an affiliate with Amazon, but the difference with like Jesse James Speeds and Cricut and Jewel Loom is that you get one code that kind of blankets a lot of things. But with Amazon, you have to have your own individual code for each single item. So just know that that's there. You guys don't have to use those. Please don't feel like you are forced to use my affiliate links or that I'm trying to like encourage you to do. It's totally not like that. It's just there if you want to use it. If you don't want to use the affiliate links, if nothing else, there's a really good list 
of jewelry books that I have in my collection. I've been through, I've cleaned out, and these are the ones that I kept. So that is, you know, that lets you know that they're books that I, I recommend. I am not an affiliate with Beadalon. They don't really have an affiliate link system at the moment, but that is definitely on my, um, my radar. Okay, saw a grumpy face go by. I hope I didn't offend anybody already. I haven't even eaten anything yet. <laughs> okay, now, now we're gonna get down to it. So here's the drink thing. I do have a water here. I'm just taking a guess that you, you're supposed to mix this with, with just water. Um, and now I'm really scared because Donna said that this could quite, quite possibly be some sort of probiotic or <laughs> it smells good, but you know how like our packets that you mix in with water are not real thick. Like they're not, it doesn't take a lot of powder. This is really full. So I'm a little, I'm a little concerned here. Yes, yes, yes. Nicole asked if she can post her ornaments. Um, yes. You've been working on them for 84 years, girl. <laughs> okay, so I'm mixing up the drink. I gotta tell you, it smells really good. I'm just not gonna drink a lot of it because of what Donna said. That makes me really, really nervous. And I do have another live. <laughs> oh gosh. Okay. Well, it's a pretty color pink, but... It does smell really good. It does not taste good. <laughs> that's that's kind of sad. That doesn't taste like anything. It's if it's gonna be this color, which is not a normal natural food color, it ought to taste. It doesn't. It tastes like it tastes like bitter water. I'm not impressed. There's no sugar. Well, I mean, maybe you're supposed to, maybe it's like Kool-Aid where you have to add your sugar or maybe they just don't do sugar. I don't know, but there's nothing sweet about this whatsoever. So I'm going to find somebody to drink the rest of that. That was not so, wasn't so bad, but it wasn't, it wasn't great either. <laughs> okay. So let's, let's just dive right into some of these things don't look so scary. Other things look really, really terrifying. So you guys, this, look at this. So <laughs> I, uh, this was in my bag. Let me show you the back of it. Okay. Well, let me just open it. Cause I'm, it's ridiculous. I am going to open it. So when I saw this, I was like, that has to have mold on it, right? That's got to be mold. Like that's old. I need to just throw it away. And I thought, but you know, before I do that, I am going to like Google it and see, turns out that is not mold at all. <laughs> it is totally supposed to look this way. And on the Japanese Amazon, did you know that there's an Amazon for every country? Well, no, I don't know that it's every country, but like J Japan has its own Amazon, which I think is pretty amazing. Okay, so you can buy this. Seaweed, it isn't seaweed. I looked it up. It is, um, it's kelp. <laughs> it's kelp and it's supposed to taste like plums. And something tells me that's not so. First of all, it smells like, it smells sour. Oh, okay. Nope. <laughs> I don't know what that is. <laughs> oh no, 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 no. Mm-mm. So it takes a second. <laughs> it is kelp. And when you start putting it in your mouth, okay, first of all, it is a, it's, it's seriously like a piece of leaf. This is like tree bark. And at first it, it tastes kind of sweet, but then something else hits you. And there's nothing about this that tastes like plums. This is like if you went out and found a leaf in your yard. <laughs> And maybe put some soy sauce on it to make it taste better. This is pretty much. Bleh. Nope. Nope. Going to save that for somebody else though. <laughs> okay. Wasn't that bad, but it wasn't. It's not great. So there's another one that looks very similar. <laughs> looks really, really similar. And I didn't look this one up, but just knowing that that one is supposed to look the way that it looked, I figured, well, that's probably true for this one too. Again, it kind of looks like it's growing something. I just don't know. 
I don't know. This one doesn't doesn't smell bad. <laughs> we all know that doesn't mean anything. Tastes like plum leaves. Well, it definitely tastes like some sort of leaf. Like, I don't know. Okay. So that's not bad. It's sugar, but I mean, oh, it's hard. <laughs> okay, it's chewy like a really stale Tootsie Roll. <laughs> it does not taste like a Tootsie Roll. That's awful. <laughs> that is the most bizarre thing. Oh my gosh. I don't, I can't even compare that to anything. It's like, it's like, you know that when someone is like <laughs> sick, sweet, do you know what I mean? Like, mm -hmm, that's sick, sweet. Where's just my water? I don't want Dr. Pepper. I just want water. Mm -mm. So it's really hard, like a Tootsie Roll that's been sitting out for a really long time. And I don't know what that flavor is. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. It's sickening sweet though. Like bad. <laughs> it's really bad. Okay, moving on. Okay, so this one, I'm not going to eat this one because I've got a lot of things here to taste test. And I just figure that this probably tastes just like a chocolate chip cookie, but I thought it was funny because it says choco chip cookie cocoa. And at the bottom it says country ma'am, <laughs> which I don't know why that tickled me so much, but it's just like country ma'am. That's so not Japanese. <laughs> like, a choco chip cookie cocoa country ma'am. So again, I'm just going to assume that this is a chocolate chip cookie. I don't feel like we need to open it and taste test it. I will let you know if it's the most disgusting chocolate chip cookie I've ever had. I'll let you know, <laughs> but um, I just wanted to show you the packaging. So there's another packaging that also made me kind of laugh a little bit and it's, there's actually a couple, but this one was funny too. So apparently they have what is called Texas corn, which I think is hysterical and it's Texas corn, yeah, trying to be American. Texas corn with a octopus on it? Now I'm scared. So I'm thinking, this is like puff balls, and are they octopus flavored? Texas corn? We're gonna find out. <laughs> We're gonna find out. Country is very big in Japan. I kind of figured, I kind of figured. Oh, dear Lord. <laughs> smells really bad. <laughs> it looks so cute on the package, but oh man. Okay. I'm a little nervous, <coughs> but I got to tell you, the smell of this is nothing like something else that I have. Oh gosh. Okay. No, that's not bad. The smell is terrible. It smells like gym socks. Really stinky gym socks. But it's puffs, which I'm normally a fan of, right? They are kind of fishy. And I don't mean that like in a bad way, because I don't I don't I don't dislike fish, but like, remember the fish crackers that we ate or that I ate that you watched me eat? <laughs> Yeah, I wasn't expecting that. This, I kind of expected it to be a little fishy. These are not bad. Um, they kind of taste like um, a little bit like anchovies. So sort of like Caesar dressing, just a little bit. It does have like a dill flavor to it. There's nothing Texas corn about that other than the fact that it's like puffy. Um, but yeah, so I don't, I don't know. <laughs> Moving on. Moving on. <laughs> okay, some more packaging that I thought was just hysterical. Not like hysterical, like, but like just really funny because trying to be American, that just, it makes me laugh. So these are pretzels, which these are not, they're breadsticks. And this one is, <laughs> this one is bacon potato. That's not so bad, right? But this one, the flavor is salad. <laughs> 
<laughs> when did salad become a flavor? Like what? So these little pretzels that are really just breadsticks and the flavor is salad. So let's find out what salad on a stick tastes like. <laughs> Which I'm sure just means like herbs and, you know, but you never know. We're going to find out. <laughs> it's not corn. As you like it, pancake. Man, you're so smart. Okay, so these just look like little breadsticks. And they don't smell at all. Okay, that's good. No, it isn't. <laughs> okay, turns out salad is a flavor. You can make things taste like, this tastes like lettuce. That's not a joke. Now I know why it's salad flavored. It tastes like green things. It tastes like grass. Yep, so these are grass and that's not good like really not good. Mm -mm. Let's try the bacon potato ones. I generally don't like <laughs> bacon flavored anything unless it's actually bacon. So this is, see this, this, the flavor kind of creeps up on you. Like you take that first grassy, it does taste grassy. It tastes like a goat already ate it. The potato ones are not good either, but they're better than the salad ones. I only like my bacon flavored like bacon. That doesn't really taste like bacon. It just kind of tastes like, I don't know, maybe a little flavory cardboard. It's not, not good. <laughs> it's not good. <laughs> the salad ones are really gross, but okay. So something else that they do, apparently they really like are these jelly things and <laughs> I've got a couple of these so this one is they look like jello shots I know they're not <laughs> part of me wishes they were this would be a whole lot more fun but <laughs> it's already fun I'm totally kidding this one is lychee flavored I've got one that's grape flavored this one is apparently bear flavored maybe bear poop flavored that's the rear end of the bear you are seeing <laughs> And then this one isn't anything flavored, but it's pink and yeah. So let's start with the one that, I don't wanna make a mess with this, but I kind of feel like it's, there's not much you can do about it. I don't, I don't know about this whole jelly thing. So we're gonna try this one first, Jello shots and grass. <laughs> it's my kind of Monday. <laughs> Oh, it is, <laughs> I expected it to be like liquidy. It's, it's not like that's a full on jello, like a jelly. It doesn't taste like anything either. Oh, <laughs> okay. This just, this, bleh. this just tastes like grape jello that's room temperature. There's nothing really, nothing super scary about that. The consistency is kind of strange. I mean, it, cause it does kind of like, <laughs> it does kind of do its own thing. I was not expecting that. I expected it to be liquidy. Um, that's not bad. I am concerned about the one with the bear, but, I mean, it's not the grossest thing on this table. I can tell you that. Oh, okay. So the yellow one, it also has its own <laughs> spread it on toast. That's lemon. Honey poo. <laughs> I feel like I need a fork to eat this. Ooh. <laughs> it's not bad. It's just, 
it's just room temperature. You need to keep them in the fridge. Yeah. So I think I'm going to, and like the, the lychee one, it actually has like little fruit in it. I think I'm going to put these in the refrigerator and I won't open these because I have a feeling that my, um, my 10 year old is really going to like these. They're not super, super sweet, which is cool. The lemon one is not all that great. The grape one was okay. I mean, they need to be cold. They need to be cold. Definitely. Okay. Moving on. Other weird things. So this is just a, maybe freeze them. Mm, that's a good idea. So this is just a cookie and I have a feeling that that is going to be like maybe green tea or I could be completely wrong. I don't know. We're going to find out. <laughs> oh man. You know what's funny? You think back on your life and I was thinking about this this morning and I was like, when I was, when I was five, I wanted to be a paleontologist. Like I was obsessed with dinosaurs. I thought they were the coolest thing in the whole entire world. Never once in my five-year-old brain when I wanted to be a paleontologist did I ever think <laughs> I would be taste testing food for snack shenanigans for you all. <laughs> Just wasn't on my radar. Yeah, this definitely tastes like or smells like green tea. It smells like mach matcha. Is that how you say it? Oh, nope. That is a rice. That is not a regular cookie, people. It's one of those rice things and it tastes like seaweed <laughs> that's not green tea friends that is straight up ocean mm. and a little bit of sugar that's not good nope <laughs> mm -mm. i can take a second to get that one out of my mouth Ugh. all right this one is scary. It's squishy and it has a banana on it. <laughs> what has my life become? That was what I was getting at. Like, what? What is? What is this? Okay, so. Oh, this looks like a squished banana. Like it even has. What? <laughs> what is this? Okay, I have a feeling that it's marshmallow. Yeah. Oh, please don't be really gross. Oh. Uh -huh. mm -mm. It's not it's not horrible, but that's one of the worst fake banana flavors ever. Okay. Ugh. Yuck. This looks like <laughs> just kind of moving on a little bit. <laughs> this looks like these look very much like yogurt covered raisins. <laughs> Feel free to spit it out. Oh yeah. We've already done that today. Okay. Oh, crunchy. <laughs> Mm -mm. Oh my God. <laughs> okay. I don't know what that is on the inside of that, but that almost came back up like not in a good way. Oh, that's bad. I don't know what that is. I thought it was going to be like a raisin or. <laughs> oh, oh, that's. One of the worst things I think I've ever tasted. <laughs> and it's such a pretty package. You would never think. Like, it's pretty. It's pink. It looks like... No. We're going to need to look this up. Did you know? Oh, my gross. Okay, it's crunchy. What I was going to say is, did you know that you can you can use your Google camera? That's foul that is that is really bad like that is awful <laughs> that flavor is not going to go away so unassuming it looked so pretty you almost gagged with me <laughs> oh man oh okay 
that taste that flavor is still in my mouth and i can't place it i don't know anything that tastes like that nothing i've ever had okay so <laughs> this looks like little noodles i think maybe we've tried something very similar to this i haven't googled it emily but i need to because i got to find out what that is because that was like that's foul that is absolutely foul <laughs> okay so i feel like i feel like we've eaten something very similar to this remember it had the little it was like sugar crystals that were in it. Oh God. Nope. Why? Why do things have to taste so bad? Oh my God. That tastes like a mushroom that was literally sitting on a pile of some stinky grossness. That tastes like a, like a dead roadkill smells. Oh God, what is wrong with me? Why do I do this? <laughs> That's horrible. And look, the little guy is on here and he's like singing and he's like, these are so good. And no, there's nothing good about that. That's foul. That's like, it definitely has a mushroom flavor. And I like mushrooms, but mmm no here's another one that looks really oh my stomach <laughs> yeah i don't think i could live in japan i could live in korea i could totally do the korea the korean food is my absolute favorite we had korean last night actually i've got a story to tell you guys about that as a matter of fact but let's open this and try this first whatever this ever th oh they look like <laughs> It's another one that smells like, it smells like these. They look like this. Nothing on the outside of the package would make you think, right? Okay, that's not bad. Not great. But ugh, it's not bad. <laughs> the flavors really sneak up on you. Ugh, no. There is some kind of seasoning. There's some kind of spice. There's some kind of something that they put in everything. And it is not one I am a fan of. Ugh. Okay, so let me tell you about last night. Hold on. We're working our way through these. I've got the big bags over here. So we're, we're almost to the really gross stuff. This one says milk cream. Blech. So we eat Korean on a regular basis. My husband cooks um, Korean. He's really, really good at it. He's perfected it over the years because it's my favorite food in the whole world. And we had chicken bulgogi last night. And he um, very often will make all of the side dishes that go with the entree. And so there's a lot of like kimchi, there's cabbage kimchi, there's radish kimchi, and there's radish kimchi that comes in different um, different varieties and styles. Like there's cubes or there's shredded ones, all of that stuff. Well, we, um, sometimes we cheat and go to the Asian market and buy the side dishes pre-made. You can go and I know that they like at the Asian Mart, across the parking lot from the Asian Mart is my favorite Korean restaurant that is just right across there. So I know that it's all made by the same people and they just pre-package it so that you can buy their side dishes and take them home, right? You don't have to spend hours making your own kimchi and that whole bit because sometimes it can be a really long and drawn out. It's usually a weekend process. We only do that a couple of times a year. So yesterday he went to the Asian Mart and bought, yeah, there's more gross stuff. <laughs> he went to the Asian Mart and got the side dishes to go with our chicken bulgogi for last night. This says milk cream. These are absolutely crackers. This is weird. Anyway, so he picks up our regular side dishes, which are a couple of different kinds of radish kimchi. And that's good. <laughs> winner <laughs> um anyway he picked up our regular side dishes and this is really good this is like a um less sweet golden oreo that's pretty good 
I'll eat all of that. Anyway, he picked up one in a little container and he had never seen it before. And he thought that it was something else. He thought it was this kind of salad stuff that we get sometimes. Totally wasn't. He brought it home, opened it up, took a big bite out. What is this? Took a big bite out of it. And I've never seen anybody take a bite of something and immediately throw up. Like I've never seen that happen in real life until yesterday. It happened. He took a bite of it and that was, it happened. It happened and it happened more than once. <laughs> he actually went outside and like threw up everything he had eaten yesterday. And yeah. Okay, so I was not expecting this. Look, it's like a real fruit. I didn't know. I didn't know. I'm, oh my God, it stinks. <laughs> okay, so it looks real pretty. Looks like a little fruit. It smells like vinegar. Mmm. So apparently, I'm, I'm actually cutting this open with my scissors because I refuse to just bite into it after I smelled it. Oh dear God. Um, so whatever it was, it was licorice flavored. It was like some sort of like seaweed with licorice, which is weird because we've never had anything licorice-y from the Korean place. But yeah, so anyway, it was funny. <laughs> he threw up and it made me laugh. I know that's really mean, but you just kind of have to know my family to understand. Okay, so I literally have cut this open because I'm I'm seriously afraid to just like take a bite. I had to look at the inside to make sure that it was not in fact rotten. It smells like I don't know what. And if it tastes like it smells, I'm in so much trouble. Yep, it does. I don't I don't, <laughs> I, don't I don't even have to take a bite of that. Oh my god. <laughs> What is this thing? It looks so pretty. It smells so bad. I need adequate vocabulary to explain to you what this is like. It kind of smells like cat pee a little bit. And the taste, yep. All I had to do was just touch my tongue to the outside of it. Not happening, not happening, not happening. Okay, moving on. <laughs> That is gross. I can't wait to find somebody to eat that. <laughs> I'm not really that mean, you guys. I promise. I keep I keep throwing things in the floor accidentally. Okay. <clears throat> wow. A lot of this stuff has been really bad. This looks like just a gummy. But now we all know looks can be deceiving. <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> I literally felt that gag reflux happening in my throat. Nope not happening <laughs> okay this is supposed to be like a soda bottle i'm gonna assume it smells like yeah my trash can is right here on my feet <laughs> it's, okay it's really really sweet and not in like a bad way just like really over the top sugar like if you eat this whole thing you're you're probably gonna like be bouncing off the walls it's just grape flavored it's okay it's just way too sweet for me all right now we're getting to the stuff that i'm a little worried about okay first of all i know these are probably going to be pretty good i've been saving these for a while so i'm going to open these in just a second we'll try that I have durian candy. Do you guys know what a, um, <laughs> you know what durian fruit is? It apparently smells like onions and feet, but it tastes really good. So I'm really worried about this. I'm really, really concerned with tasting what that tastes like. This has sweet potatoes on it, so probably couldn't possibly be that bad. <laughs> I don't know what this is. We're gonna try one of those. This is, wasabi flavored little rice things. I'm sure I'll probably like these, but, and then saving the worst for last. These little candies, it looks like plum on the inside. I'm not sure, 
But last, I've got two of these. I don't know how I ended up with two of them, but I have two of these. Can you read that? It absolutely is prepared shredded squid. Yes. And I have it in hot and I have it in original. <laughs> So I'm saving this for last. And part of the reason that I'm saving this for last is because I'm, I'm absolutely terrified to try this. Also, I thought that I would read like what people say about this stuff. Some people really, really love this stuff. Other people really, really hate it. So we've got one, two, three, we've, we've got like four or five things to go through and then we'll try the squid. Blech. No, don't do it. No durian candy. Is it not good? I've, I've, I know that durian fruit smells awful, like really bad. And I like squid. I've never seen it in jerky form though. That's kind of weird to me. <laughs> hey, Pam. <laughs> Those are nasty. Well, <laughs> more octopuses. Yeah. Okay. So these little guys, melon flavored rice cakes. And they smell really good. So I'm really hopeful that these are good because they were kind of expensive, not gonna lie. And my daughter, oh wow, the consistency is really, really strange. They're very mushy, like a marshmallow kind of. My daughter really wanted these. Mmm, that's good. That's really good. <laughs> okay, first of all, the melon flavor is like a real melon flavor. It's not like, you know how artificial watermelon can be kind of in your face? This is not bad. <laughs> you guys like watching me eat snacks, that's funny. So these are really, really good. These would be really good cold. My kids are gonna love these. So I got these on Amazon. I got the melon flavored. They kind of taste like a cross between like a honeydew and a a watermelon but it's like a good flavor it's not like an over-the-top kind of artificial flavor and it doesn't taste like marshmallow which I'm I don't really love marshmallow so that's which it's not it's rice but pretty good pretty good kids will love that okay winner winner moving on let's open this guy <laughs> I know the Chiefs game's about to start. I know, I know. It's all right. Oh, whoa. That's not what I. <laughs> Even the smell. <laughs> they smell rotten. It literally is pieces of. Yeah, they were rice cakes. This is literally pieces of sweet potato. And it smells like rotten sweet potato, like not good sweet potato. Oh, gosh. Mm. No, no. Ugh. Did you ever feed sweet potatoes to your babies, like the little jars of sweet potatoes? sort of the consistency but it tastes like tastes like it's been buried in the ground and left for a really long time oh no that's just not nice that's just not nice why why do they do these things to us <laughs> okay mm -mm. Ugh. i don't know what these are Aren't rotten potatoes vodka if it tasted like vodka, I'd be smiling. <laughs> uh, I mean, you know. <laughs> Why? I expected these to be like sweet and I just took a big old whiff of it and it's whatever that pungent, like vinegary, ammonia-y, that is in some of the other things and now I'm a little concerned. I thought this was sugar. <coughs> Excuse me. This could not possibly. Okay, I can see the ingredients on here. It does say it's a cookie. Sugar, wheat flour, egg, fruit, fructose, ginger, mm. dexedrine, 
margarine, soy, and that's all. Wheat, egg, soybean. Why does it smell so bad? <laughs> Can you tell me that part? Ooh, what is that? It's the ginger. It's just a ginger cookie, y'all. I just don't like ginger. But I know somebody downstairs is going to love this. I'm just not a ginger person. No. Blah. Sure. No. <laughs> no, no canceling. Nope, no canceling. Even if I have to have a slot bucket next to me. <laughs> okay, we're going to try the wasabi rice crackers. Um, I'm going to I'm gonna assume that these are going to be... You like ginger. My mom loves ginger. My kids like ginger. I'm just not, I'm not a ginger person. You know how when you get sushi and on the side of the sushi, they give you those little pieces of pink ginger and you're supposed to chew it and it like, it soothes your stomach? New no. makes my stomach roll. Like bad things are gonna happen. Okay. Mmm, these are good. I like. So, I love all of the little rice things. Isn't that what's in diet pills? <laughs> yeah. So, these are just, the little rice things taste like soy sauce and wasabi, which is really, really good. And then they have seaweed on the outside. And the seaweed is not one of those, like, horrible, nasty seaweeds. These are good. If you like wasabi, these would be, these would be really good. <laughs> <laughs> Open up dough chaser. These are really, really good. That was a good buy. Okay. We're going to try the candy that looks like... It looks like it has plum in it. I don't know if that's what it is or not. And then we've got the two nasty things. So we've got the durian fruit and the shredded squid. <laughs> Oh, man. Okay. So, these come in little individually wrapped. Uh, okay. It doesn't really look like what it looks like on the outside of the package. So, this is the package. It's really sticky for a hard candy. Mm. Ew! The inside of this is not staying in my mouth, I can tell you that. Ugh. It tastes like a garbage can. No. It, it very, it has a, <laughs> has a really subtle kind of fruit flavor, but is very much overpowered by what I can only describe as like decomposition. Like, what is that? Like in Korean food, I know that a lot of things that we eat, like the gojujang that we eat and the soybean paste are all fermented. But this is a different kind of fermentation kind of taste that is, it's like sick sweet. I really just don't even know how to explain it, but it it's like a sweet that turns your stomach. Not like a sugar sweet, like a rotten sweet. Ew. <laughs> okay, straight from the compost pile, yeah. All right, we've made it to the durian candy. I'm so scared. Mm. So, I haven't smelled it yet, but supposedly, <laughs> as long as it happens on this, on, on my own, like Facebook, it's okay. If it happens elsewhere, that's a bad thing, Nicole. <laughs> okay, so, you're supposed to be able to smell this when you open the bag. <laughs> That's not a joke. <laughs> I didn't even expect that. <laughs> oh my god. 
God, why would anybody put that in their mouth? <laughs> Smells like this before. <laughs> the ice water. <laughs> okay. Whew. Let's smell it again. <laughs> Let's just smell an individual one, okay? <laughs> oh man, that took me by surprise. <laughs> oh god. Okay, individually, it does not it does not want to throw me out of my chair, but man, oh man. Okay, <laughs> you gotta believe people when they tell you <laughs> that it smells bad. You have to hold your nose <laughs> when you put it in your mouth. Oh my gosh, it's even really ugly looking. Hold on, I'm trying to get it open. <laughs> Ew. I mean, it's not even appetizing looking. Oh gosh. Okay. Oh, <laughs> they tried to get away from me. <laughs> oh gosh. Okay. That's not bad on the outside. It <laughs> doesn't mean anything, though. Oh, nope. Oh, nope. Must power through. <laughs> it's another one of those rotten, rotten. It's really hard. Which means how... <laughs> <laughs> reason why anybody oh, should ever I haven't even gotten to the center all I had was just that little sliver on my tongue oh dear god <laughs> <coughs> so let me tell you about this okay when you very first touch it to your tongue it's sweet like a melon because obviously durian is a fruit and then it kind of creeps in like sweet death like ugh. but I really need to get to the inside of it because I, I, I must I am not a quitter ugh. Ugh. okay why can't I cut this open <laughs> we got to get to the center of this even if I have to crunch through a paper towel oh there's nothing in there that's yes i'm gonna give it out as halloween candy that's so mean <laughs> this is horrid this little thing is absolutely atrocious and there's nothing gooey i don't know why i expected there to be something on the inside of it, it really has kind of hurt my stomach a little bit <laughs> this is absolutely awful and it's it smells one way it tastes a totally different way and neither one of them are good Oh man. Ooh, did you hear that? That was my stomach. <laughs> my stomach was going, Rawr. nope. <laughs> so bad. Oh gosh. All right, now we're down to the last. Whew. So we've got hot or just regular? Should we? I don't know that I can do just the regular. Just because it just, I'm going to open the hot. I normally like spicy things and I would rather try something with some sort of added flavor to it than just to just eat straight up shredded squid jerky. Looks like a turd tastes even worse. <laughs> oh man. Oh, that smells like rotten seafood. Big time. Like, like fish has been sitting out in the sun. <laughs> <laughs> oh gosh okay so oh. 
You guys, you gotta be kidding me. I'm not sure how to proceed with this. Oh, that's wrong. <laughs> it pulls apart like a, like a Twizzlers pulling pill. <laughs> don't, don't, don't be, don't be mistaken. This is not a Twizzler. Okay. I tried. I gave it my best shot. I don't think I can swallow it. Mm hmm. Ugh. Okay. Ugh. That. So. <laughs> so. Ugh. It tastes exactly like it smells. So. Why? Why do you want to make jerky out of things that don't know? <laughs> No, no, no. So here's the thing, okay? <laughs> People who love fish and love seafood, like, will like this. Um, and that's not a joke. I'm just, I'm not a big, huge fish eater. I like lobster. I like shrimp. Um, I will eat squid when it is in other things. But for it to be dried and like chewy like this is not, the, the, the fishy is just way too overpowering for me. So I can see where the reviews, because I did read the reviews on this, the reviews were split. Some people really, really loved this. Some people really, really hated it. And I can understand why. Uh, my daughter loves seafood. She's going to really like this because it, you know, it's very fishy in a really kind of <laughs> the back of it says open the bag convenient picnics hikes and more it's true <laughs> it's not true <laughs> if you are going on a hike alone with no one else around you no one that can smell you maybe and if you really like fish no I like salty fish. I don't like like anchovies. Anchovies are okay. I just can't deal with that fishy, foul fish. Blech. No. Okay. Well, I survived. <laughs> we made it. <clears throat> yeah, they put the small shreds in soup. And I <laughs> one says, worst picnic ever. Yes. <laughs> worst picnic ever. I could see that put in a soup and it giving like that fishy flavor, like fish broth. That's kind of what it reminds me of. It tastes like really pungent fish, fish broth. And that's good for cooking other things. But as far as like just eating that out of the package, you got to really, really love fish. And I just, I just don't like it enough to um, enjoy chewing on that because you really have to chew it like beef jerky. You know, it's, it's, it's not something that you can just chew for a second. Like you're going to spend a good 15 minutes chewing on a big piece of that. And I just don't have the constitution for that. So. Terry says I would starve in Japan. I, I probably would too. I don't know. I There are some things I could eat. I, I really love sushi. Um, but as far as snacks, I would probably lose a ton of weight because I'm a snack food junkie. And clearly I just cannot handle Asian snacks. <laughs> these guys are really, really bothering me. I'm going to have to look these up and find out what this is. Because it looks so what's the word it doesn't look harmful it is this is bad <laughs> this is bad for you it does not taste like strawberries i don't know what this is i'm gonna look it up and we're gonna find out Ugh, gross all right well <laughs> that was fun as always so Kathy says she did fine in Japan. I would probably do okay too. And I would, I'm sure that you, you know, you, you acclimate to things. Um, you know, it's either that or starve to death. And there's plenty of rice. I could certainly eat just a ton of rice and be good with that. But, 
Okay, so <laughs> that's it for the snack shenanigans this time around. You guys, um, if you have not posted on the little thread that we've got going in the group, okay, first of all, you gotta join the group. Please come join the Sarah Ellis Designs community. Hang out with us. We are just now starting to build our, our Facebook group and we would love for you to come and join us and hang out with us. You'll get notifications every time I do some crazy snack shenanigans as well as making jewelry because that's really what I actually do for a living. I just eat the snacks for fun uh, because apparently I like to torture myself and you like to laugh at me and that's okay with me. <laughs> um, so there's a thread going on in the group where I said if anybody could whoever can find the grossest thing to order off of Amazon I will order it and I will eat it in an upcoming snack shenanigans. That is still going on you guys, you've got as long as you want to, to find something gross and post it there. I will tell you, someone has posted crickets, grasshoppers, and a tarantula. I'm, I, I don't think I can do that. I really just, I want to think that I could be brave enough to like take a big chomp and bite out of a tarantula and maybe one day I can, but I don't think I'm quite there yet. So, um, baby steps, <laughs> baby steps. I did see somebody had posted, um, I, I think it was Joy posted um, sauerkraut juice. That's probably the grossest thing that's on there. Um, the canned possum, you guys, you know that's not really, that's not really, but definitely read the can because it's hysterical. It's a gag gift. It doesn't really have canned possum and gravy in it. But um, yeah, I don't think I'm going to eat the bugs. But, um, you know, anything else that you can find, I'll try anything. I will try anything. I know that's weird, but it's a good pastime. It's for me, it's a funny way to start my week out and it gives you guys a laugh and just kind of takes our minds off of all of the other crap for the lack of a better word that is going on in the world. So, um, as long as you guys enjoy it and it's funny and you have a good time with it, I'll continue to do it just because it's fun. I like to do something a little bit different. And if it, you know, if it brings you in and maybe you start making jewelry because of it, then winner, winner, chicken dinner for me. Grubs. I'm not eating grubs, Rosanna. <laughs> I'll tell you what, you send me a grub. If you send it to me, I'll eat it. But I'm not going to purchase a grub. Ew. Ew. All right. So Nicole says, what's the next box? Well, I don't know because some of you have sent box, like the links to boxes, and some of those look really, really good. And then there are just like individual items. So like this one was a combination of a Japanese box and then stuff that I just got from the Asian food mart. So um, it'll probably be kind of like that, you know, just kind of a mix mash of whatever. If there's something you want to know what it tastes like and um, you don't know anybody else will eat it. <laughs> Let me know and I'll try it for you. Can it get any worse than the durian? I think that it could if we actually had a durian fruit. I think that there's probably a, I think that as bad as the candy is, is probably a far stretch from how awful the actual fruit is. Um, but yeah. Okay. So I'm going to let you guys go for a little while. I'm going to go find some Pepto-Bismol and I am going to take a little bit of a break and I'm going to turn on the Chiefs game and watch the first couple of, um, hours of the Chiefs game. <laughs> I'll have to, I'll have to pause it later for when we do our, uh, Maker, Maker Monday at 7 p.m. And wait, you're importing gross things from other countries to counteract the grossness we already have. I am in fact doing that. The only thing that I cannot get my hands on is probably for the best is that, that stroming, so strong, I don't know, but it's a fish that's in a can or something like that. I don't know. You can't get that here. At least you can't get it on Amazon. You used to, but you can't now. Anyway, that's, sorry, went off on a little tangent. Okay, I will see you guys at 7 p.m. for our Maker Monday. I'm making a really beautiful necklace using the Earl Grey from the Market Fresh Minis, and I'm also using some Tierra Cast components that are available in the Jesse James Beads shop as well. So come hang out with me again. I won't be eating anything, but we are going to be making something. So I will see some of you guys here in a little while. Um, and don't post the Chiefs game score. <laughs> don't spoil it for me, okay? I'll see you guys later. Bye, guys.